So here I am in the middle of Central Park, Manhattan, New York City. Um, this is a Sunday, the end of March 2020, for those of you watching the future. And uh, normally this place would be teeming with people, packed. People walking their dogs, people playing with their children, just everybody enjoying the fresh air. But uh, this happens to be the epicenter of the COVID outbreak of the coronavirus. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty desolate. Nobody around. The last three weeks, everybody's been cooped up in their apartments. Um, we're all forced to work from home, and um, you get cabin fever from time to time. I decided to go outside, take a break, get some fresh air, and support my local coffee shops. Unfortunately, got outside, and um, they're, they're all closed. Um, I guess it's not a huge surprise. Anyway, I've been uh, touting the virtues of a hand frother. Um, so I went back home, got a few supplies, and uh, not to mention the hand frother, and uh, I'm going to set up shop here and uh, try to enjoy my coffee and fresh air at the same time. I'm not going to let this COVID beat us. And so, here we go. Right, so we got the French press. I've got some half and half and a little bit of skin milk in here. Unfortunately, it's not hot, so that's probably going to affect my frothing, but desperate times call for desperate measures. We've got the Vino full of hot water. This was boiling. Um, I've been walking around for a little while. You can see it's supposed to last for 12 hours. We'll see. And of course, we brought the coffee to us. Um, I'm going to use this pre-packaged coffee bean. Let's see if this works. As you guys know, normally I'm not a French press guy. But like I said, this for time is called for desperate measures. If you want to get your fresh air, get your coffee. These are the things you got to do. You'll notice I've got plastic down. It's been raining here in your city, so it's a little bit, but um, can't be too sure with this COVID. We don't know if the rain really works. <laughs> Wash it all away. Well, that's still clean, so let's hope that works. We're going to give that a little time to brew. Nice slow push down. Yeah, see that going all the way down there? I don't want to do it too fast, I'll probably do it really fast. Anyway, I'm going to let that seat. Now, see that seat real nuts. See that going in there? No. Good enough. And of course, the old faithful air locker. Let's give it a go. Like I said, this is not warmed up, but it's like this. Yeah. Already a nice little frost there. Mm. Nice. All right, that's beautiful. You take some of this extra water. Cleaning this. So that just shows you how easy it is to clean up. So 
we'll talk about that versus using a uh, steaming wand off your espresso machine. Back of the foam. So we got our froth. That's nice. few minutes warm on my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try. Nice milky coffee. Didn't retain the foam very well. Also, we didn't really do it that long. But, this definitely looks good enough. Got a little to go. And there it is. To be enjoyed. That is not half bad. Don't love the coffee as much, but overall it actually pan out pretty well. It's the coffee bean tea leaf, and it's their Colombian. Not quite an espresso, but hey, I'm outside. I didn't let the COVID get me down, and I'm getting my fresh air. Hopefully, everybody else who's in the <laughs> Which is basically everybody in the U.S. and the world, for that matter. Uh, let this be some inspiration. Get out there if you can, if you're allowed. I don't even know if I'm allowed, but uh, yeah, get out there, do your thing, try to enjoy life. Don't let this COVID get you down. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Good luck. Stay healthy. When you feel the world is over. When you say you're feeling lonely If you ever need a show